Blizzard has shared that class tuning will be going live on January 11th. Tuning, which is just a fancy word for nerfs, will be applied to mainly Hunter and Priest. For Hunters, however, the nerfs are hidden under some actual buffs. An attempt by Blizzard to weaken the pet and strengthen the Hunter. Swapping the power dynamic so the pet won't do more damage than the actual Hunter. Some of the changes are that Chimera Shot, the weapon damage has been increased to 100%, previously it was 85%, however, in the beginning of Season of Discovery, Chimera Shot had 125% damage, which was then nerfed to 85%. Another buff comes to Explosive Shot, which the base damage will be increased by 25% before the attack power modifiers, so if you have good gear, you will benefit more from it. However, Explosive Shot, we have to remember that in the beginning of Season Discovery was also way overpowered, which was reduced to almost nothing of a rune. Now they're trying to bring it back slowly up there. And above that will change everything comes from the mana cost reduction of Chimera Shot, Explosive Shot, Carve, Kill Command and Flanking Strike. So mostly here we will focus on Chimera Shot and Explosive Shot, depending on which one will become the meta. That 50% mana reducement to the skill it's quite huge because it will allow you to have mana for the entirety of the fight. Hunters at level 25 don't have intellect on their gear just like they have at level 60 and either don't have a lot of abilities to get back their mana during a fight. So if you're going on a pog, if the fights are too long and not short as they are in a guild or with people that know what they're doing, you will most likely run out of mana. This makes sense with the next changes which are the nerfs. The Beast Mastery rune bonus health damage provided to hunters is reduced by 20%. So less health on the pets and less damage. Then we have the Beast Mastery Rune Bonus Focus Regenerations reduced from 80% to 50%. That means that Serpents won't be able to spam as much Lightning Breath and the damage will be lower as well. I think this is a preemptive a nerf for Hunters. As for Phase 2, if you look into their talents, they will get more uh, Focus Regenerations from deep into the Beast Mastery tree. So they're just trying to keep it in such a way so they won't be too overpowered. The developer note states, we remain concerned that hunter pets are still too powerful and believe that the best way forward is to reign in the beast mastery rune while compensating via the hunter's main spells. Not only this, but in a hotfix that went out last week, the boon of the Black Fathom world buff will no longer apply to pets. Whether it drops in the city or released from a Chronoboon Displacer, Blizzard did publish those hotfixes and explain that it was intentional. We are essentially removing the ability for pets to get Boon of the Black Fathom for now, now that the pets scale with stats allowing them to get certain world buffs would effectively let them double deep on those effects and gain far more damage than intended. We'll continue to review as we move through the content phases and make adjustments on how world buffs interact with pets as needed. I believe that the main issue with Hunter does not come from PvE, but rather from PvP, as the latest DPS rankings for BFD does not show the Hunter reigning supreme anymore. These places are reserved for warriors and rogues, as usual. Blizzard is trying really hard to nerf the Hunter pet and boost the marksmanship spec, so players would at least not be soloed by a Hunter pet in PvP. The Priest seemed to get hit by the nerf hammer as well. The base healing done by rune abilities is reduced by 20%, Priests are actually outperforming other healers significantly. It got to the point where people only look for priest healers in any BFD. This adjustment will apply to Prayer of Mending, Penance, Circle of Healing, 20% nerf on all of those runes. Which for me makes sense because you can actually see a difference when you don't have a priest healer in your raid. Last week I ran BFD with a Shaman and a Druid healer and on Kelris for example they struggled a bit. In other news, if you're away or slept under a rock, Blizzard has officially announced the release date for Phase 2, and the date is 8th of February. Phase 2 of Season of Discovery includes level cap raising to level 40, a revamped Nomer raid, new runes and abilities, and many more. In Phase 1, people were not really excited about the Ashenvale PvP event. Blizzard has stated that the new Strangleton Valley event will be completely different than Ashenvale. Maybe this might have something to do with some previous statements that there will be more way to level rather than just questing and grinding in dungeons. Who knows, maybe we will be able to level while PvPing and Strangletorn. But take this with a grain of salt, as this is just me daydreaming. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about those changes. Let me know if you're still playing Season of Discovery or if you're interested in it. If you're hyped for Phase 2, if you are ready, prepared for Phase 2 and many more. 
Um, if you have any questions or if you want to hang out, find me live at twitch.tv slash Frostadamus where I'm streaming almost every day. And uh, with that being said, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, stay frosty. Bye-bye.